guys and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sharon. Today I'm going to share with you the creative and glam way that I styled my updated shelves in my home office. I said it before and I'll say it again, styling shelves is very personal. For me, I chose to shop my home and pick things that fit my color theme as well as items that had a special meaning to me that I wanted to display giving my updated shelves that professional decorated vibe. Again, nothing here is new. I just shopped my home along with my decor storage room and this is the result. My goal is to keep the ratio of decor versus open space the same. And in order to maintain that, in order to make seasonal changes, something has to come out before something can go in. I love the way it turned out. Let me show you what I did. So here's the original color of the bookshelf in my home office. I unloaded it and removed all the shelving. I painted the bookcase and the shelving gray. The color is called Reflections. And I added hardware. And I used the same hardware that I did in my kitchen makeover. And I also added peeling stick Carrera marble tiles. Hey guys, let's connect on social media, on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. The peel and stick Carrera tiles that I, I put in the back, I really love that. I believe I'm gonna carry that down to the next level. I didn't get enough because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I almost I hesitated several times about putting that up, but I'm glad that I did. I don't know if you guys are catching it, but when the light bounces off of it, it's really pretty. Let me take you in a little closer. I'll start over here with my box from Paris. I picked these boxes up while I was in Paris and they're just extra storage and I moved my printer from the center right over here to the side because I didn't really need that much space for it and I didn't want it in the center I shot my home to fill this bookcase so everything you see here I already owned um, the lanterns I like I said I got them from either Pier 1 or Crate and Barrel I think it was Crate and Barrel um, I got a picture frame from Hobby Lobby and I filled it with a print that I got online. Um, the little box here, the teal color box. Oh, either Home Goods or Ross. I'm not sure which one. Um, the heart, the gold heart up there, I believe came from Burlington's. Um, the little the little eggshell vase, the little round vase here. I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby. The silver vase that you see right here, um, I've had that for some time. I don't know where it came from. The Paris statue, I believe I got that from Home Goods. The white vase over here with the lamb's ears in it, I believe I got that from Home Goods. This vase down here, 
I don't remember where I got it from. I've had it for that long. I, I'm not sure. In the prints, it says, wake, pray, sip, slay. And the other one says that, that quote, she believed she could, so she did. Um, then up here, I got the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. I printed that up and placed it in a frame. The silver bowl, I, I think it came from Home Goods. I think the the um, succulent in the little white pot, I believe that came from uh, Target. Um, the S, I I think I got it from Home Goods. And just some books that I set the S on top of. Then down here, I've got some gold pieces. I believe the gold piece, the cube gold piece came from, that came from a uh, um, crate and barrel. The little cactus down here in front came from Target. Um, and the gold, and the gold vase probably came from Home Goods. And again, another basket for storage that I got in Paris. And then of course those two boxes up there was a dupe that I did from Z Gallery. I still have those. There's nothing in them. They're just there decoratively. And the painting, uh, and the painting up top there I got from Home Goods. I love it. I like the way it turned out. I think it's very pretty. Like I said, it's not too much. Just right. Just enough. And if I'm changing something out for the season, uh, to put something in, I've got to take something out so that I can keep it about like this. Oh, and I did change out the hardware on this too. There are the glass um, handles and the chrome um, accents. They match the drawer pulls and cabinet pulls that I have in my kitchen. Okay guys, that's it. I believe I'm done. I like the way it looks. It's not too full and it's not too empty. And it's fall is coming, so I might have to pull a few things to add a few pumpkins. I like it. What do you think? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. I love my updated home office. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. At the end of this video, click one of the links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. I also have other videos linked in the description box. Stop by and check them out. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.